Hey y'all, so it's been just about a day with my Note 4 and I just had to make a video because, I mean, I've been watching all the videos and I think for some reason, for the most part, I think everybody is super, super spoiled and they're just kind of looking at the, you know, the overall uh, phone and just, just like me, when I went into Best Buy, I just kind of turned it on and I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And every single thing I was like, okay. Okay. And I think that's pretty much what the reviewers are doing. But when you physically sit down with this phone and you set it up to do all the things that you need a phone to do, and it just works. Everything works. There's no force closes. There's no loading. There's no hesitation. This thing is super fast. Battery life is super great. Um, I mean, it ticks every single box. The S Pen works so good. I had to fill out a rebate form yesterday for Samsung so I can get my 190 bucks back. And I mean, it was so easy. You just snap a picture of the receipt and Samsung needs you to sign it and date it. And I was able to do that with the S Pen and where I normally would have to scan it and transfer it and print it and write it. I, it was just like so seamless. It was just like, bam, it was off to Samsung. It was so, so cool. And that S Pen is so much better. I've had the Note, the Note, the Note 2, the Note 3, and this one, I think they finally hit their stride in every way. I mean, honestly, even S Voice. Now watch this, okay? Now mind you, it's going to take a few seconds to close all by itself. You can certainly close it with the back button if you want to use your fingers while, you know, to use your phone. But just suppose you've got your hands, you know, you're kneading dough or something. I, I don't mean you need dough. I'm like, you want in cash. I mean, like you get your hands in meatloaf or something and you need to use your phone for something. So check this out. So think of it like that. When I show it to you, do not slam S voice and say eh, that it is not so great because considering how far S voice has come now, mind you, you used to have to activate, uh, S voice, and then you'd have to wait for it to say, say a command and you talk over it and it would just never work. It was a joke. But now you're going to see, I'm going to set the timer uh, with all in one, you know, one command with no hesitation, but it does everything. I mean, I don't want to bring up my messages, but you can just like say the command that makes it come to live because it's always listening if you want it to. You say the command that makes it come to life. And right as soon as you say that, you say text so-and-so message, da 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 and you just keep going. You don't have to stop while it tries to, you know whatever you just it's there it's so there and i'm i'm so impressed with it i like it a hundred times more than google now okay so here we go now the only thing is that i'm a little bit far away from the phone so when i say it the first time it might not you know catch it so if it doesn't i'm gonna get close to the phone but let's see where you know how it works hey phone set timer for 30 minutes see i'm too far away it's not picking it up so watch i'm gonna go a little bit closer because normally you're not this far away from the phone so you have to go up to it and this way it doesn't activate every five seconds which i kind of like hey phone set timer for 30 minutes set timer for 30 minutes say start or cancel start start timer Now you could hit the back button if you wanted, you know, if you um, had your hands free, but if you're just, you know, not able to touch the phone, it takes a few seconds and then it goes away, which I love. You don't have to cancel or nothing. So now watch this. So then, so suppose you want to tell it something else, like shut that timer off. Here you go. Hey phone, cancel timer. Okay, cancel. Now, I don't want to brag or nothing, but I think that is so cool. And I haven't noticed anybody saying that. The only way that I learned that S Voice is so improved is I actually sat down and went through this tutorial, which was amazing because I've never gone through a tutorial in my life. But for some reason I did. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. You don't have to wait for it to say a command, which <laughs> I used to want to bash the phone in when it would do that. Well, maybe that's a little drastic, but I really, it got on my nerves so bad. But anyway, so, okay. So let me stop waffling and show you 
some of the things I've done to set up my phone. Nothing new here. If you're a BTC fan, then you're going to, you know, this is all old news, but if maybe a couple of new people, here's what I got going on. Okay. So let's start from the very beginning. I don't use the buttons to turn my phone on or off. Here is what I do. I walk over to the phone. I want to turn it on. There's an app called Smart Screen On, and I think I paid a dollar for it. And all you do is you just touch the proximity sensor. You're going to feel a slight vibration. As soon as you do, make sure you pull your finger away right quick, and it'll come on. Works every time. It's... Now, I always have problems when I'm trying to film it, but or video it, but here we go. All right, there you go. So that's how I turn it on every time, and I either can swipe down because ADWX has gestures in the launcher, and I have it set to screen off and close. But if I don't want to do that, I can always shut it with my screen off and close button. All right, so what I have is multi-picture live wallpaper, and I'm going to take you through all my screens. This, if you will, is the lobby of my phone. The waiting area. I'm just kidding. Um, it's just a wallpaper that I liked and I went ahead and I made it like the lobby and it's actually got a widget here that is my albums of um, my wallpapers and you can change them. They change by themselves like every couple of hours but if you want to change them faster you can just whoops you can just touch settings and just you know go to the next. I said go to the next. So that is pretty cool. That's my fish tank. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Isn't that nice? Okay, here's my circle launcher. If you ever need all your apps in a hurry, you can just go there because if you notice, I like a very clutter-free phone. I don't like any icons or anything. But now let me start at the beginning. So here's my home screen. Well, let me just show you this. So some of these wallpapers change all the time. For instance, this is static. This is static. But this one changes. I can change it by tapping on the screen, double tap, or it'll change by itself every couple of hours. I have it set low so that I don't waste battery. But then I have these wallpapers and they're permanent, okay? And in case you're wondering like how, you know, I work with having no icons available to me or widgets, it's really simple. Let's just say I'm in the middle of God knows what, right? Well, I have my virtual home bar button over here. I could use this home button, but I don't like to press buttons, especially on a phone so big, because to me, that's how it gets wobbled and maybe falls down or something. So I like everything to be capacitive. So here's how I do it. I've got the virtual home button bar here and Samsung actually has included an onboard home button bar that you can activate from the notifications, but I've not used it yet. And this one works really fine for my purposes. So I just installed it and I used this one, but let's go back. So, okay. So say I'm in the middle of, I don't know, watching a video or whatever, and I want to get to an app quickly. Well, of course I can go to the app drawer. That's always a way to go. All right. But who wants to futz with that? So what I would do is I'd be, let's say on any screen. I don't know if you could see it on any screen, but I know where it is. It's always here. So all I would do is I would hit the home button. That brings me to my home screen. I slide one screen over and that's where I keep all my really uh, commonly used apps. Now, of course you could always go there for your common apps, but you know, you got a lot of scrolling to do if you do that. For me, I keep another app in the app drawer and it's called home villa or villa home and i like that because it does two things one if i'm here in the home in the notifications and i'm jacking around with whatever and i want to get back to the home i don't want to press that button like i told you or the back button i don't have to go all the way down there i know that sounds ridiculous but i don't so i can just hit home and boom it brings me home Another app that comes with the Villa Home button in the same app is something called Recent Apps. And I like that because in this case, there's just, I just booted them. I don't know. Why is there so few apps? Let's see. Let's open something else up and see if my Recent Apps is working. We'll open the gallery and now we'll close it. All right. Let's see if it's working. So you go here and you go to Recent Apps. And there you go. There's the gallery. And you've got a lot more room here. So what happens is you can like, at a glance, you can get to like 30 apps. So I like that a lot better than swishing through cards. Okay, another thing I have is called Floating Browser. Now, 
Again, Samsung includes a, a floating browser this time around, which is pretty cool because I like being able to move it out of the way and whatever. But my floating browser is really the best one because it lets you shut the screen off and it will continue to play. So let me see if I can go ahead and bring up something. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. Let's see. So it starts playing and you can reduce it. Still keeps playing and now you can shut your phone off and still keeps playing so that is a real real bonus I don't think Samsung's onboard app will do that okay so let's shut that off that's not the one that's playing that's not the one that's playing and you can have so many of them up it's almost retarded <laughs> I've got too many of them up. Look at this. I have thousands of them up. Oh my God. There we go. So how cool is that? Okay, then I'm running ADWX on here, which I really feel is the best launcher ever made. I know there are some that like a lot others, but this one, I just, I don't know. I'm one with it. What can I tell you? So let's see. Um... I'm sure there's so much more. Oh, I have my circle launcher there. I don't know if I shared that already. Um, so in, in conclusion or summation, I just want to say that after one day with this, I am in hog heaven. And it is the perfect, whoops, compliment for my Tab S. In fact, my Tab S... And as you can see, I can open it the same way. This is actually a phone. I don't want to steal the limelight away from this little guy, but it's actually a phone. And it is the best phone and tablet I've ever used. I mean, it is, I would never think something this big you can bop around with, but because it's so thin and so sturdy, it just, man, it gets the job done. And this is what I use at work. This is like a warrior phone. And I play all my videos as I'm working, I'm streaming trials and listening, and that gets the job done. And I wanted something that was equally fast and fluid and pretty and svelte and everything. And I mean to tell you this and this together, perfect mate. Um, I think that's it for now, but if you have any questions, which I can't see why you would, because there's a million videos on this phone but suffice to say that they are really underrating it. I mean, there's a handful of reviewers that like, oh, this is the best phone yet and, you know, whatever, whatever. But if you actually get this phone, I mean, obviously you have to want it. But if you do get it, you are going to be so surprised by it because I've had so many Samsung phones and they... I don't know. I mean, they've just hit their stride is the only way I can put it. They are on the money on every single solitary front and they really, they just knocked it out of the ballpark. No other way to say it. So that's it for now. Thanks y'all. Bye.